Okay, so... Good... Ugh, that's not how you spell. Good evening, Cliff. Thank you for your invitation to coach, uh, coach the prince, but raiders. They fortunately Okay, yeah, welcome back. Uh, it's been almost a little bit over a month since we turned down the Prince Albert job. Um, ultimately, decided that probably at the end of the day, Prince Albert were just going to scrape by. And then I would just have to try and rebuild them for the next month. Next month? Next year. I know what I'm talking about, honest. So, yeah, decided to stick with the Belfast Giants. And being on a, not going to say a massive tear, but we are, we're doing all right. Uh, let me bring up the standings for you, and you can have a little bit of a look. Currently, it's at 49 points, 23 wins, 10 losses, 3 overtime wins. I, th I can never remember that one. This is OT, super useful. Um, I have noticed as well, Manchester, oh, 12 game losing streak and they've only won 11 games in total Gilbert doing pretty well he is our leading point scorer uh, and Jelly is flirting around down there somewhere not quite hitting the uh, top 10 as it stands right now Whistle is doing very very well in the standings for goalies I did try as well Putting in an offer for Zach Phillips. He was literally top goal scorer for Fife. Uh, Fife, as you can see there, aren't doing amazingly. Um, they are kind of sitting just below mid-table. Um, so it was a bit weird to see the top scorer sitting you know, at 500, 17 and 17. Tried to put in an offer for him. Hit the usual. You have too many foreigners. Um, so we're at... 14 of 14. So yeah, we have had one of our players come back from uh, injury. Uh, Aurelian Dory came back, which kind of meant we were over our foreigner limit. And as such, we uh, yeah we had to say goodbye to someone. Who that somebody was? Was this screen? Kevin Rain. He was a right defenseman, whereas you are a left defenseman, you could play left anyway. He was 29 and he was one and a half stars. So Kevin Rain had to go. Uh, we've had some interesting, if I bring up these, top selling jerseys, not too bad. I mean, none of these two are, you know, massively leading the way when it comes to goals scored, but. Fair enough. Top player of the month, my trade, Mike Hammond and Jake Jackson, even Whistle, was the top goalie. So that was very, very good for December. Um, and yeah, Mark Clark has decided that we are now a serious contender and we should be looking for players to help us right now. The fans are very pleased and nothing to worry about with the job. So all super good stuff there. So yeah. Ow. Uh, yeah, I thought I'd come back for this one because yow. Scott Conway is, uh, isn't expected to miss a big chunk of time as a result of a dislocated jaw he sustained in practice. Ow. He's listed as day to day. Um, I don't think so. Ow. Oh, well, well, well. Two months almost since the last job offer, and we've had another one. EHC Ingolstadt from the Deutsche League have offered me contract. Um, don't think I'm going to take this one, to be honest. I mean, they are 14 out of 15. They are, I mean, 10, 8, and 27. I mean, yeah, that would be a good one if I was looking for a rebuild job. But uh, I don't think I am. I mean, what are they even offering me? Should we Let's see what you want to pay us? Uh, I mean, that that's just a flat out, just no. 
I mean, that's pretty much what I'm getting paid now. And if we try and relocate, thank you, but but no thank you. So we've returned to the game with five games left. And I'm trying to work out what one would be the best to, to actually play. It's been actually a good number of episodes since we actually had a game in it. I was just trying to wonder when exactly to bring it back. We are so close, wrong screen, so, so close to wrapping up the league. It's three points between us, uh, two points for a win, one point for an overtime loss. So, I mean, they need two wins to get there. There are five games left. So I'm thinking we'll come back potentially in about two games time. Oh, yeah, that one might be a good one. Disruptive hostility. Manchester Storm are actually really, they are really, really struggling. Um, they're on a, oh, they've actually won a game, but they were on a massive losing streak again. So I think that one might be our game to come back to. Um, I mean, we, we might well win the league earlier than that, depending on how Guildford do. I think they are the only ones that will probably. Sheffield, maybe. Um, you've got five games left, so you've got a total of 10 points. You cannot physically win. So it's going to be one of these three. So it's going to be us, Guildford or Sheffield that will win. Um, and we'll come back in a game or two. We'll probably try to come back for the game that will allow us to win the league. Okay, so coming on to the game of the episode. Um, I'm a little annoyed by this one, if I'm going to be honest. Um, sat there for a bit of time and I was working out the perfect place to come back. A few games ago, we played the Sheffield Steelers. We beat them, which effectively ruled them out of winning. So it was just going to be us and the Guildford Flames left. And I was counting down the amount of games played. It was uh, brilliant. That's absolutely fine. The Guildford Flames, it's going to be a good game to come back with. We can then win. They would then have not enough points to win. And then they went on a losing spree. So we've won. We've pretty much won the league now. Nobody can actually beat us. The game is now pretty much just a blow-off game. Um, we're going to win anyway. Um, I have done a little bit of scouting and potentially looking to replace a few players for next year. So these are two that are currently on my watch list. Muckhin is doing, I mean, he's young. He's young, but he's good. Um, he is along the same sort of liv uh, liver. What am I talking about? On the same sort of lines as Tyler Soy. He looks like he's going to be better than Derek and Jelly. He looks like he's going to be, I mean, if we look at Tyler Soy, He's better than Ben Lake. Sweet. So he'll be a solid player on most of the leagues. So, he, yeah, he's looking good. And then we've got Borzeki. I'm pretty butchering that one. We look at his scouting bio. He's looking to have potential the overall value of Chad Butcher. Chad Butcher has reached his full potential, but top player in our league. So they are two that we will be probably looking to try and pick up. Um, I am potentially thinking in the summer, um, Hammond, let's go to those. Hammond, Lake and Jelly, Gilbert, possibly Cooper. They were more than likely all going to go on the trade block. Let's see if I can get any offers for them. Yeah, they're, um, they're declining. The scout reports come in. And we just get minuses. So, yeah, especially Lake. He's 32. He's two stars. Let's just, we'll bin him off. We will bin him off. But yeah, let's go and um, let's just go play Guildford. This is our team. We've got Gilbert, Conway, and Angeli on the front. Lake, Hammond, Butcher on the second. Stuart, Owe, Owe. Still don't know how to pronounce that one. You just say it in your head usually. Cooper on the third. Soy and Mirazak. On the fourth, with Baum, Cullen, Dory, Bast, Noren, and Foley for defence. How have we been doing? We've been playing them previously. Let's have a look. So that's us. So we won that one. We won that one. They won that one. They thrashed us on that one. We won and we won. Okay, that's fine. 
Okay, so here we go. Let's have a quick check on these. Yep, low fit to screen. Uh, again, if you saw the second video, doesn't really matter. There's been a patch since. We will see if there's any difference, but it's more like it's just going to show some goals. So, without further ado, let's hit play. So we are teal, they are white. Okay. So we did have a little bit of change of possession, but it did look like we started with the puck and we scored. We'll see if that does change as it goes. That was nothing in the first. Uh, Stuart, 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 Stuart. I mean, you're having a fairly average game. I'm going to say no. Jelly, you are... Uh, you're not really doing well offensive, so yes. We're hitting them. No, we'll just keep doing what we're doing. So, it does seem to still be the same way. They start the highlight, they get the goal. Uh, that's fine. That's fine. Does appear to be a little bit more backwards and forwards going on. It isn't just straight into a shot. Not in a fairly long time. Oh wow! Actually, no goal that time. It was almost impressive. And there it is. Alright, 2-1 Belfast, minute 32 left. Uh, Stewart is still not doing very well defensively, so yeah, I'll just agree to that. Um, yeah, sure, why not? Okay, already halfway through the second pretty much. See if we can. Because of course we can. I think this is going to be our game. We'll be throwing it away here if we end up losing. Okay, so we are getting a few more highlights. I mean, that is as high as it can go for highlights. Oh, that's it. That was the end of the game. Yeah, so we win that. And um, we still haven't... I said yeah, day to day. We still haven't really had notification that we have won the league yet, which is interesting. Because we have. We were now, what, 11, 9 points off than everyone else? So, um, yeah. Okay, we'll just sim for that last game and we'll come back at the end of the season. So yeah, as we uh, as we thought we would, we did end up wrapping up the league, and and yeah, pretty easy to be honest. Um, 77 to 72, and as I said earlier, Sheffield had just drifted off, and they were never gonna even with their little winning streak they were going on. Yeah, they were never gonna catch us up. We have had the nominees for Player of the Year. Um, annoyingly, we're not on that. Netmore of the Year. No, other than that either. I mean, I spoke about him in a previous episode. Don't know how he, uh, how he was getting as many awards as he picked up over the season. Should we have a look? Uh, where are you? Okay. Uh, Defenseman of the year, Cullen. Okay, one of ours has finally appeared on the list. Rookie of the year, nothing. GM of the year, come on, come on, really? Come from obscurity, and I've won the league, and I'm not on there. A coach. I'm not on that either. And beyond words. So we have the beginning of the Challenge Cup again. Um, but I think I'm just going to run forward a day or two, see if we get the results back. I think we might wrap up this episode in a second. Can we get the results? Go 
to you hence. I'm going to presume it's probably none of there. Ah, so we're looking another month away. Okay, we'll wrap the episode up there. I believe with the EIHL, there is kind of a playoff system that I think we do get involved in. I don't think it will appear. Yeah, there you go, playoffs. So we have won the, in inverted brackets, championship. And then the top it's eight teams. Yeah, so the top eight teams will play each other and kind of go through to an elite playoff championship. Um, so we will probably come back tomorrow and we'll just see how this gets on. Uh, hopefully we'll win it. We've been doing OK. But uh, yeah, we will leave the episode there for now. Thank you very much for watching. Do the usual like, subscribe and all that good stuff. And I will see you next time. Bye bye.